Hey everyone, how's it going? So this, uh, so this year I was planning on doing some camping trips um, on the motorcycle and I wanted to trial some gear. Um, first I bought a swag. Um, it was quite comfy when I laid it out. It was all good, but um, to fit it on the bike was just a touch too wide. Um, that was just way too wide, so I don't really have um, panniers on, on the Grisso. It's just a, um, a rack. So it just got too bulky. So I ended up taking it back. I was going to get the bike or one. There's one for bikes, but it's only like 80 centimetres wide, so it was quite claustrophobic when I hopped in it. So the next best option I saw there was a hiking tent. And because I'm quite tall, I didn't want uh, anything too small. So I had a look at this uh, Coleman. It's a um, Coleman Ridgeline three-person uh, tunnel tent. And Thought I'd, why not give it a go? So I went away camping with my daughter, so having the, having extra space um, was quite important. Um, this held up quite well, it was easy to put together, um, it took about 10 minutes to put up. do all of them uh, but you get the general idea so getting into the tent you can always sit up around here and there's plenty of space so i can actually put a lie down if it's just on my own i'd lie in the middle and you know there's a bit of, you're close here but it's not too bad uh, my feet do go to the end there when i zip that up not too bad on the feet diagonal plenty of room as i said if it's all you you can fit three is a real stretch but if I actually tied it up a bit better, need more room. Uh, the stitching, there's plenty of side pockets all through. Um, yeah, just warnings, don't get it, don't put it near too close to a fire. There's plenty of places you can store things. Um, you know, hook a, a light up at the top there and all that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm fairly tall, so you can't, for normal height of people, this, this is more than enough. It will get me through what I need it for. Uh, the outer cover is, um, it's quite thin, but it does the job. I, I have managed to damage it though. Um, I think I put my finger, finger through it just there when I was um, pulling it down. There is a patch kit, so I'll just put that over it.
well done. So the Coleman Ridgeline um, three person tent, it retails for about $229. Um, they pay full retail. So you're better off waiting until a um, place like BCF have a special and you can pick them up from about $169. It's still quite expensive compared to some of the three person tents out there. But if you're after something a bit more compact, um, I've seen lighter, cheaper three person tents, but they're a touch too wide. But this one compacts down quite nicely. Enough to, as I said earlier, fits in the bag. So I'll be able to take that away with me when I'm going to a rally, going away to um, Phillip Island, and it only takes up about a quarter of the bag space, which will do. Um, so improvements, you can do this bag, as I said, I'd get a ground sheet. Um, you see from my picture, I also put a top sheet over it if I'm camping there for a few days. Definitely a, a cheap bag, uh, uh, tarp, a uh, blue tarp ground sheet. They're about 10 bucks and they will do the job. They compact down far enough and they'll fit in the bag. That's then the other item would be a, um, a dry bag, it's the same dimensions as this. That way, if you tear the um, it's, um, carry bag, at least you can um, still store it handy. As I said, this is quite soft, so it, it is prone to damage. Um, the stitching, um, I don't think, will last um, if you're using it regularly enough, so definitely. Uh, look at a dry bag of the same dimensions. Uh, would I get it again? Absolutely. Um, yeah, but I'll give this a few more uses. So I'm planning on a couple of um, motorcycle rallies, MotoGP, and um, I'll be camping all the way down to MotoGP, so I'll be able to give you an update on what it was like. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.